This is Whitney from Yarniverse in Memphis, Tennessee. And today I'm going to do the first lesson on measuring. We are getting ready to start our uh, fall knit along, which is going to be a sweater set. Either the Drea Renee knits the Weekender or the Tin Can knits flax. And the biggest thing with both of these is that one is form fitting and one is very loose. So you need to know both ways of measuring so that you can accurately size yourself depending on which pattern you want to use. Uh, these can work really well for any version of uh, any pattern really uh, so that you know what is going to fit you the best. So on the flex here it shows you a diagram and suggested uh, measurements that you might want to help you size the pattern. The flex is great uh, for six months all the way to 3x and or 4x and it is great for uh, male female anything in between uh, the Dre Renee knits is the weekender and it is uh, loose fitting uh, 10 inches of ease and so when you look at the pattern on this one the sizing for it and the size on the actual pattern are different because what it fits and the end product will give you different results. So I'm gonna do my measurements first so that you can see how that works. Uh, I can do it one uh, by myself, but you might want a friend to help. First, on the bust, you want it to go around the largest part, whether you're apple-shaped, uh, hourglass-shaped, pear-shaped, you want it to fit the largest portion of you. So for me, when I breathe out, I am 40 inches in the bust and you wanna make sure that you puff up your chest or whatever area you're measuring to the biggest extent you can so that you will be comfortable in whatever you do ultimately custom knit for yourself. So for the flax, uh, 40 inch is a medium large or a large, 39 inches or 43 inches. For this one, I would knit myself a large because I want it to not be too binding. I don't want it to be too tight. Uh, for the weekender, I am between a 38 and a 42 again at 40 inches and I'm going to size it down to the 38 inch because it already has 10 inches of ease in the pattern. The next measurement to get is a very important one. It's the length. So for me, I like my sweaters to not hit at my natural waist where my belt is or at my belly button uh, right above my hip bone but a couple inches below my hip bone that way when I reach up it is going to move up but not too far that it would expose skin so the way you do that is you start at the collarbone you go over the bust and you want it to form fit over the bust not drape loose and then I puff out all of me uh, to the furthest extent and then go down to a couple inches and that's going to be 23 inches for me. So I'm going to write that number down so that I have that measurement. For the flax, which is loose fitting, you can easily just take it from the collarbone and let it hang because there's so much extra ease that it's not going to matter if it's form fitting or not. So the number for that one is about I think it's 20 inches because I'm not having to accommodate for the form fit. Uh, the other uh, number you're going to want, especially at the beginning, is uh, for the flax, you want to go tight up under the armpit and again measure down to a couple inches below the hip for me, form fitting as I go, and that number is going to be 15 inches. I might even go 17 depending on how it's looking as I'm knitting it up. Uh, that's also going to be affected by your gauge. For the weekender, you can you want to go with a comfortable height on your armpit because the sleeve is going to be very loose and then just hang it down. And again, I'm at about 15 inches and that's from the uh, to a comfortable hang on on that as well. Uh, from there, you will know when you subtract your collarbone measurement from the total length, 
how big that armhole should be in the front and that should match the measurements of the pattern or you can extend it from there so that it fits comfortably across the upper bust. To measure a sleeve, sleeve length for the flax, you want to take it from the underarm, and this one gets hard to do by yourself, underarm down around the elbow on the outside and up to where it would be comfortable on your wrist bone. So for me it would be about 21 inches and you can do that as the final measurement or you can add ribbing as the outside and that will give you even a little bit more uh, room in the sleeve. You can always try the sleeves on as you go. Um, the flax you're knitting it um, at the same time or you're knitting on you're picking up stitches and knitting on so you want to make sure that it, it's fitting how you feel comfortable you can always take back ribbing uh, if it if you need to add more length for the weekender you want to go from the top of the shoulder and again it's easier if you have two people so the top of the shoulder around the outside bent and then down the arm I'm creative uh, and 22 inches would be the length on that one the reason you don't go from the underarm on this one is because your sleeve would be very very long considering how loose the body is the connection is about out here so the underarm ends up being a little bit shorter and so you want to make sure that it's going to fit the outside of your arm because that's where it's actually going to lay uh, let's see that should be about the extent of uh, what you need to know for how to measure. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, comment, come into the store, uh, just let us know and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have.